to tell you about a friend of mine named N.A. Poe. He's a comedian and a pot activist here in Philadelphia, and he was arrested in May of 2013 for smoking a joint in Independence National Historic Park, which is so-called federal property. Now, his official charges were obstructing a federal officer, resisting caging, and possession of marijuana. But he pled guilty for these crimes, not wanting to face jail time in a federal prison. And who can blame him? So today, December 13th, 2013, he went to the U.S. federal courthouse here in Philadelphia, where he was sentenced to one year of probation and a fine of $805. Probation is where a stranger who works for the government orders you uh, to pee in a cup in front of them. They have to watch as the urine flows from your body to this cup and then they test it for illicit substances. I see this as a violation of our humanity and I wish that this were not the case. Why do I bring this up? Because I love pot and I love freedom and I'll bet you do too. But if you want pot and freedom, then you need to support activists like N.A. Poe. You need to do what things N.A. Poe is doing. Actually resist. Show that there's violence inherent in this system. You know, in Colorado, they have legal weed. It's legal for recreational as well as medical purposes. But the feds just raided pot dispensaries in, Cal in Colorado. When are people going to say, no, you're not going to do that? I mean, I'm not saying pull out guns and physically resist, but it's important to put your body in the way of people who are doing bad things. I want to see more disobedience. Don't let this die with N.A. Poe. I barely saw any media covering these events. So far, I've been one of the only alternative media to consistently cover the smoke down prohibitions happening in Philadelphia. That's a disgrace. I don't do the best coverage, honestly. I'll bet you could do a better job. But why aren't you doing it? No one's going to tell you to pick up a camera and make a video. But for all the talk I hear of people who are ready for armed revolution, ready to march on Washington with their guns, do any of you know how to edit video? It would be very helpful. It would be more helpful to use the creative, productive uses, like making videos, than to be destructive by picking up guns and, and threatening force. If you want peace, work. <laughs>